to. Go to our channel if you haven't seen part one. There will actually be more government oversight under this new bill than in just a regular state of emergency. But the Victorian opposition and some human rights groups said no, that's still not enough given how wide reaching these new government powers would be. Eventually the government did actually tone down some of the most controversial bits of the bill because they needed to do a deal with these three crossbench MPs to have the numbers to pass it. Like a bunch of the fines were halved, the Premier now needs to be satisfied on reasonable grounds that it's necessary to declare a pandemic. Of course to read the rest. Most human rights groups were satisfied with these changes and now with the support of the crossbench it was all but guaranteed to pass. Until guess whose ban on parliament lifted? Controversial MP Adam Somurek and his vow to vote down the bill. So now it's a deadlock and who knows what will happen. But going back to our central question, if this legislation does pass, will Victoria suddenly become a dictatorship? No. With the amendments, these are now fairly standard emergency powers that can only be used in a pandemic. And while there are definitely elements of this bill that warrant, well, legitimate debate, it's important to keep in mind that day-to-day -day life in a pandemic really won't look any different if these laws are passed. The whole thing's kind of just more boring than people